Bon appétit. Bon appétit. guys we're gonna go look for somewhere to celebrate Chinese New Year in Vientiane Lao let's see if they're having anything today all right everyone thank you for joining us in this video we're going to be exploring Vientiane Lao during Lunar New Year a uh, number of different cultures that reside in Vientiane Chinese Vietnamese and South Korean we'll be focusing on the Chinese Lunar New Year or Spring Festival here we are in Sangjian. Sangjian is a common Chinese market located in Vientiane. One of the largest markets, as I understand. So we started out the day here in Sangjian, taking a look around. I got out and just started doing a walk-in tour of the market and so pretty interesting you can find pretty much anything and everything in this market all chinese sourced goods So took a walk around the main avenue here and you can see this is lined mostly with restaurants or food stalls on one side and look like there's some dumplings here and uh, shops on the opposite side. So just took a walk around. I was considering getting some dumplings but we waited for some dim sum later. And then just around the corner, there is an area that's mostly hardware, uh, shops, tools, and improvement stores, those sorts of things, but pretty heavy duty, more around trade. It looks like trade and import type shops. And it's just amazing the amount of development that I've seen here since the past year when we were last out here there was an open area of land and now it's entirely gone so now it's all built over lots of construction continues in this area i believe back in 2017 there was a large fire that burned a lot of the older shops but now it's been completely all redone you wouldn't even know so here's a shop of wooden furniture and then some restaurant or food shops and then some Chinese lanterns, and decorations, auto parts, and electronics, it looks like. So a little bit of everything. And then from Sanjian Market, we went back to the city center at Lao Plaza Hotel where they were having a line dance, so we thought it would be fun to come and see this.
Then from the wine dance, we went to one of the local hotels for lunch. Thought we'd have some dim sum while we're out. So this is a special treat, not something we would normally do, but we thought it'd be kind of fun. The dim sum lunch was pretty tasty and fairly reasonable. I think for the entire lunch we paid about 600,000 kip, so around $30 US for the both of us. And again, this was a little bit of a splurge, not something we would normally do, but we thought it'd be fun for Chinese New Year. So that concludes the video for today. We hope you enjoyed this little insights on Chinese New Year in Vientiane. Please like and subscribe and see you in the next video.